Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clip channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, read the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on there, buddy? Oh, bro, I just came off of a four four day. Uh, Why are you tired? What's going on? Exhausting work week, man. Yeah. Yeah, bro. What's going on? Are they beating you up? Um, no. It's just I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like, uh... You're reaching the end? I could be, You're man. throwing in the towel? I could be. I, I might just want to finish out the year. <sighs> what are you looking but, at next? <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see. Probably like a human calculator or some shit like that. Alright, if you become that, I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take care of me. <laughs> you. You'll take care of me. <laughs> you what? Oh, man. Yeah. I'll yeah. probably have to study up on those uh, certification tests again. Take the take those again. The AAs? You no, think you've had Not money? the AAs, the... A++? Yeah, the and yeah, the A++ mm -hmm. and the cybersecurity. Yeah, so basically, you're going to take care of me. I got you. I hate you. Yeah. yeah. I hate you. Because the last time I did that was like pandemic, bro. Yeah, that's when you had a lot of time. Bro. Yeah, pandemic. That's when I was like doing a whole bunch of computer shit. How come you didn't finish it off? Um, I feel like the the situation at hand was dire, and I needed money, so I needed to find a job. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I got my job. I'm comfortable. I feel like I can continue my, you know, education. Okay. Further my education. Stemming it up. I feel it. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to at least maybe try to finish the year out. See how that goes. You feel me? That sounds like a... See what that tax return looks like. <laughs> and if it's sweet, what's going to happen? <laughs> you going to suffer another year? Oh, no, hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. You wow. what? Wow. Oh, hell no. shit, man. No. Hey, man. That's what, what it sounds like you're saying to me. No, I just want that tax return. I just want the whole year's worth. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to throw in the towel and then be like, oh, I wonder what I've, I would have gotten back if I stayed, you know, mm -hmm. an extra month. But I know season's right around the corner, so it's about to be crazy. I'll be coming home late again, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've noticed. Like, they're pushing, like, they're pushing a lot of things out early. But um, before we talk about that, we need to talk about how I almost died this morning. I oh learned, yeah, absolutely. I learned a valuable lesson. Absolutely. But I had to tell the story. You Jeff know? leveled up. He 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 earned a new skill. My uh my uh I'm like uh <laughs> three steps closer to becoming a higher being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because you know I wake up early, go to the gym, um, and I was brushing my teeth. After I brushed my teeth, if a lot of people don't know, you can use hydrogen peroxide as mouthwash. But you just got to mix it with water so you can dilute it. Dilute it. So it doesn't de completely destroy your, um, every cell, living cell in your mouth. So, in my mind, I'm still waking up, you know, done brush my teeth and flossing. And I'm like, let me um, pause, gargle this. Uh... <laughs> you what? <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? Uh, this hydrogen peroxide and uh, that was a big mistake because my throat started foaming up and uh, my gag that's reflex dumb. activated and I was like Bleh. that's dumb Bleh. see and I didn't hear this I was listening to my meditation music oh yeah I would have been while dead while you're suffering in the fucking bathroom what the fuck I would have been dead I and after so I asleep. after I like <laughs> after, oh, after I like what what why what was going through I was your still head? waking up <laughs> I was Vic still waking said, up. Hey, yo, pause. <laughs> That's why I said pause, Vic. <laughs> That's why I said pause. So after I after I spit it out my um my mouth, mm. pause. Mm. Um, literally, it just started foaming up because the. <laughs> 
<laughs> this can't be any game. I'm not laughing at it's you. It's just everything that I'm saying sounds it's gay. Tough. It's <laughs> tough. It is. But so, go ahead. The, push, cause, push through. Because your throat is raw. So, of course, mm-hmm. anything that hydrogen peroxide touches... It's gonna, just it's destroying gonna, It's cells, just destroying so. the cells, right. especially if it's trying to heal whatever it's trying to heal. So, basically, my throat started foaming up. So, I'm just in there just coughing out the from from the hydrogen peroxide. But other than that, I learned my lesson that day never to uh, pause gargle on hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Nah, dude, that's, yeah. that's tough. No, that was bad. That was really No, because it was like that one day when you bought it. Because I was reading the instructions. and I, was like, I don't read instructions. Yeah, you can use... <laughs> mm, mm, mm. See? Those are uh, thoughts shit. that stay in your head, uh, Jeff. Shit. I, don't, I don't read instructions. Dog, bro, it's like out here, deep. dog. <laughs> Vic said, "I'm clipping this." Bro. <laughs> of course, Vic said, he's like, "Let I'm me do this right this now shit. as he's doing the live." Oh what my god, fuck? no, man. But no, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what happened to me this morning. It's it's bad. Like my 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 pause throat still hurts. Damn, because it's a little bit itchy right now. But right, because you just pretty much destroyed half destroyed, the cells. Yeah, in, yeah so you might end up getting like strep or something. Hopefully I don't. As crazy as that sounds, they're counterproductive, right? Because hydrogen peroxide is what is supposed to kill germs. Germs. And, of course, when you're sleeping, there's germs everywhere. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So you realize how easily it is to just buy dangerous chemicals over the counter? Yeah. Like, like, that's crazy. It's not even that. Go to Home Depot. <laughs> you got it. You well, can't... no. Well, Home Depot, it's like, okay, everything in Home Depot is dangerous. <laughs> like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what the fuck? But like, you go to a, a a grocery store and yeah, yeah, you can make a bomb. We're not gonna make a bomb. We're please. not gonna make a bomb. Please don't blacklist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wrong sound effect. I should have done that. Oh, that's one. terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. We're gonna be on uh, trial shit. for insurrection. Yeah. Keep yeah. Playing. Right. Keep playing. So yeah, man. Like I don't know. It's just it's just weird. Yeah. But I'm the. I'm uh I'm on the next level to reaching uh, consciousness because I almost a died. higher consciousness. A higher consciousness. Is that one of the steps you gotta take? Oh yeah, yeah. Don't read the instructions. Don't read the instructions and find out how hydrogen peroxide feels. <laughs> Imagine if you ingested that crap. Dude. No, no, that I wouldn't. Now. I don't know, but like, how did you feel though? Like, did you feel like you were like you couldn't breathe? I just always kind of thought no, because I was holding my breath. Because when you gargle, you hold your breath. When you gargle, you hold your breath, Jeff? I close my throat hole. <laughs> but wait, when you're gargling, where's the air coming out from? Well, I, I take a deep breath and I push it out. Then you're not holding your breath. Yeah, yes. I'm just not allowing anything to go down. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Look, Vic's like, I'm, cli- I'm definitely clipping this. Moving on. That's tough. <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, so, so that's what that, that's what kind of happened happened to me this morning. But other than that, no, I'm still alive, guys. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I'm still here. What do you? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Don't do that, Joe. Don't do that. No, I had a. No, I had, there's a guy at work. Um, he works for Pepsi. He's like in his sixties. Like. I'm sorry, I'm still alive. I'm like, dude, don't say don't shit say like that. that. Oh, dude. Okay, how about this? Man? All right, talk uh, to me. All right, so I was doing you my what? on Sunday, right? Uh-huh. And. I don't know. It just got really... It got weird. It was like some random guy I'd never known in my life. So uh, I was delivering to the River Del Lago condos right on uh, Tamiami Mm -hmm. on 41. And I go inside the lobby and I I see the the receptionist is having a conversation with one of the tenants. Tenants are people who live in... Yes. Okay. One of the tenants. And... I'm guessing, like, we're just kind of having a good old chit-chat, and they're talking about retirement, and bro's been retired for uh, 28 years. 28 years. Fuck, you mean I'm not letting anything go down? Okay. (laughs) All right, Vic. (laughs) Continuing. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Continue. continue. So, 28 years, he's been retired. Bro was a, a pilot. Okay. And he was... He's from the UK, so he's been... Oh, UK pilot. Yeah, so he just kind of told us his whole life. And then, you know, we're just kind of... Damn, bro, you had time for that? It was a slow day. It was Sunday. Oh, shit. Yeah, Sunday's the easiest day ever. That's usually when they send me there, and I just kind of talk to the receptionist. Yeah, yeah. She's super cool. Um, And, uh, 
yeah, they're just kind of talking about retirement. And then the story just gets really dark. Like, this guy has kidney cancer or something. Like, yeah, dude. I'm just like, shit. Yep. So he starts talking about his kidney cancer on and how he has to go to Tampa. And I was like, are you Both doing? of them? No, no, no. Just the, the pilot, the retired pilot. No, I'm saying both kidneys? Yeah, one kidney failed. Fuck. Yeah. And the other one is uh, has cancer in it, and he has to go get another test to see if it's, like, gone through his body. Like got if it's, you. If it's spreading. Yeah. Got you. What is it, metastatic? When it spreads or something like yeah. that? Yeah. All right, I think so. Um, but, uh, and they just kind of start talking about that, and, you know, I just kind of asked him a couple questions, but then, like... He's like, you know what, I'm not, like, really afraid to go or anything like that. And I'm like, I don't know how to respond to this. Like, he's telling me all this stuff. And I'm just kind of like, Ugh, you know. What was he expecting, like, an emotional response? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm a sociopath. But I, don't not, know, no, I, I don't know how I would comfort. <laughs> but he didn't even look like he needed, like. It's not that. Like a pat on the back or some shit like that. It's, it's it's not even that you got you got to look at it in the sense of I don't know you personally so I can't have an emotional word like that's a lot to just yeah I can't have an emotional attachment to you when I'm just only going to be here dropping off packages, packages. And, and, and leaving right I'm not going to ever see you so again. I'm like yeah am I an asshole nah man for not you know nah. I don't know it was just weird so he just told me this whole thing and you know I just thought all right maybe I'll just in, in, inquire in him on some you know details and shit but yeah i couldn't i didn't know what to say yeah like i said you're sympathetic with his situation but how can you be empathetic when you don't know him i don't know bro i don't even know his name but that's what i'm yeah, saying i don't even know his like name. all you do is remember the story because it's like no offense but people die every single day so it's like if you meet somebody that's gonna die that same day what are you supposed to do like take them on a journey around the world before they die no, I'm being serious. Like, how how can I, I know I'm sounding like an asshole? But how can <laughs> you're you? Not, feel, you're not. You're how not. How can you feel bad for somebody you don't know? Unfortunately, right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like when they say somebody dies. That's like when certain when sometimes an acquaintance will die at work, and then they they'll put up his poster and stuff like that. And you're like, well, I didn't really know him. I saw him every day. I said <laughs> hi, but it wasn't like. Oh, we were buddy buddy. We hung out. We did this. Whether it be about <laughs> Caleb, Caleb said you should have left. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh, I'm just shit. standing there like a like fucking NPC, just like. Yeah, like I don't know what to do. Nah, bro, you didn't look like an NPC. You look too aware. No, <laughs> I was just like, man, there's no uh, way this shit. is actually happening. I'm like, what do I say to you, guy? Yeah. So I just. Did some bullshit. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom, and then I went snuck out, out the back. Out the yeah, no, but I. Feel, but that's crazy. No, but I feel it, man. <laughs> How? I I get it. It's Think me about to others, but I'm thinking about like how you can't connect with this person at all. I just met you. You're telling me a life story, and then you expect me to care. That's dumb. If you did, all right. If you did community service in like a retirement home for hours, and you got to know one of the that's patients, that's different. Or, yes, okay. because you're hanging out with the patient every day, every weekend. But how do you get out of that situation? Let's talk about that. How do you get out of a situation like that? I've had people where tell someone's me, just dumping on you. Well, that's what happened to me when I was at work. There was a customer saying that, yeah, I feel extreme pain every day because he lost his leg. And he's like, I feel extreme pain every day to the point where I have to go to the hospital and they give this. And I'm shaking my head. Okay, okay. I, um, man, that that's tough. I, I give the generic answer. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> oh, Damn, man. I said, that sucks. And hopefully you, you feel good. Oh, reliable. He's like, he's like there's, there's no, <laughs> he said there's nothing that they can do. All they can do is give you medicine to ease the pain, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and then after he was done, he's like, sorry to dump on you. I'm like, no, it's a, it's okay. And it's I, okay. And I threw like, in a small joke and I said, I get paid by the hour. He laughed and then he walked away. I don't know how to respond. I, no, I, but that's better than fucking sneaking out. I got to go to the bathroom and sneak. <laughs> it's like, like, that's not like, normal. That's it's, not normal it's human not activity. It's not that. It's like you had sex with a girl and then you ran out the room. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb said, "You say here's your package. Yeah, that was <laughs> good day. Day. Cut, oh, shit. cut his ass off. Yeah, <laughs> here's your package, sir. Just sign here. I, I have I have a job to do in, in a failing economy. I just need to deliver your packages. Just sign right here. What the fuck? Cut him off mid sentence. 
No, that's just. But then again, at the same time, they always say too, men can only talk to men. But it's like I I understand that when we're friends, brothers, or anything like that. Word. Not in the sense of I randomly meet you. He probably wanted to get off his chest because he has no one to talk to. Which okay. you gave him that brief outlet. But at the same time, what does he want you to feel? Okay, so let's let's take a trip down like psychologically, right? So individually, you don't care, right? Yeah, I mean, if I'm but being honest, yes. Why is it when there's like a national tragedy, you care, but you don't know any of these people? I mean, I wouldn't say I do. Okay, okay. Because okay. I'm not et- attached to them. I feel that. You see what I'm saying? Just the act is. Just the act is horrible. Is like horrible. when they, when you're when you're when you're. It's like you hitting a human being. It's like a cringe in your heart. Like a cringe. Oh. You know that, that, that. Gut, I've never heard cringe used in that. That, that gut wrench. That, I, I get you. Because it feels though. like somebody just. Right, like that your knot in your you chest. Because you feel it. You're like, right. fuck, I didn't know this person, but it hurts that I hurt that person or killed them. You see what I'm saying? Word. But it's like. Okay. Vic said, I don't care about these people. What the fuck? But that's, that's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> it's like. It's because it's like. Um, when we went through the hurricane last year, people were like, oh, it's a tragedy. Old people died. But when you're in another state, you just go about your day. Right. I feel bad, but what can you do? Same right. thing with what happened in Hawaii. Right. I feel bad, but what can, what you, can do? you do? We're, we go about our day every day. We get up, we shower, we brush our teeth, we do our thing. I feel bad. All I can do is feel bad. But if I don't know any of these people or any of that, because people, a lot of people understand what homelessness is people die in our tragedy uh-huh. uh, uh great catastrophes we understand what that is but what can we do about it we're not superman no we, I feel we can't save everybody so i i, I, I can't feel f- sorry for people i'm not attached to if i have a personal stake in it like i will give you an example let's say if i knew somebody personally that was in the ukrainian war mm-hmm. yes i i'd feel bad i would understand the situation you see you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Vic said, the fuck have these people ever done for me? Excuse me for not caring for people. I'm showing the same energy people show me. I mean, you don't have to show the same energy. Don't do not do as they do. But what I'm saying is, you can't. Does there have to be a personal gain for you to care about something? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. If you care about, I'll give you an example. If... Because there's a lot of things I care about that will never benefit me in life. I get that. But uh, if if it's, if it's a detriment to you where you're like, man, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like if 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 you were in trouble, if Caleb was in trouble, if Vic was in trouble, if people we know personally was in trouble, you're like, Jeff, let's go. Drop of a hat, let's go. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Caleb said, Jeff, you might be after the hydrogen <laughs> drop. <laughs> <laughs> that's hey, that's gonna be uh that's gonna be the new high, bro. That's how you that's how you reach enlightenment. Bro, if you wanna send to looking the, for that, yeah. you gotta go on that I'm tr- I'm trying to, side journey. I'm trying to start the new drug hydro 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 P <laughs> I'm trying to start the new drug hydro P. When you get that you're reaching a new enlightenment. It's better oh, it's better than shrooms. That's all oh, I'm gonna man. say. You tripping. Oh you man. Tripping. And you get that sensational burnt burnt throat feeling after you're done. <laughs> I mean Superman. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um for sure. But th- but that's what I'm saying. But that's one. But no, that hydro P though is, is still on the table. You really trying to promote some? <laughs> new things, bro? You know these fucking zoomers gonna be on. No, no, no. I don't no, even know no. if I can say zoomers. The the alphas. The alphas. Shit. Yeah. If my homie died in Ukraine right now, trust me, me and my people are going. To... But see, but that's what I'm saying. If, if it's a personal stake, that's different. If somebody tries to kidnap you or hurt you or something like I that, feel that, I put my life on the line for you. Or them. If you care about somebody that much, I'll put my life on the line because they're important to you. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But I can't I can't look at somebody's personal issues or anything like that and say, okay. I'm just trying to get this thing up. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I can't I can't do that and say, okay. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I get I get what I get what you did. It's not mean or rude or anything like that. It's just you don't know that person. I don't know you, right? You, you, it's it's like I always say. Everybody at work to me is an acquaintance. We talk, we laugh every day, but at the end of the day, I don't know your life outside of work. I feel so. Like. I can. I, how can I have an emotional attachment to you if I don't I know like. you outside of work? I feel it. You don't know me. You don't know what I do outside of work. I don't know you, and I don't know what you do outside of work. So how can I have an emotional attachment? You see what I'm saying? That's that's my only thing. So I I get where you're coming from when you're like, is it is it ruthless or right, unempathetic? Like, like, or right. Is that like does that make me an asshole? No, nah, like, no, nah, it doesn't make you an asshole. You're just being. You're just. It's being, like I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like shit happened. Like. The world fucking sucks. Yeah, you know exactly. And it's and it would be vice versa. I wouldn't want you to feel sorry for me, and I wouldn't. Word, no, I wouldn't tell you my story anyway. Yeah, that's a weird feeling. But like, I, I, again, too, I think he just needed an outlet for us to talk to a man or at least somebody because he had nobody in that building to have a conversation with, or he's told everybody and they're just tired of hearing it. And he needs a new voice. No, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's personally how I look at it. I don't look at it as you being an asshole or you being unempathetic. It's just you don't know the person. Vic says, I'm starting to realize why people call me a heartless bastard. Mm. Don't worry, Vic. You still got... Hey, hey. You still got blood pumping in your system. Yeah, exactly. And and you got to look at... It. Well, because like I said, in it, you see Vic's... They'll give it, use Vic as an example. You see Vic's exterior and people think he's ruthless, mean will probably kick you or whoop your ass but then you get to know the other side of Vic and you're like nah man you just a six foot five soft teddy bear teddy that oh, pretends man. to be hard um, out of the exterior but um, if people get to know you <laughs> Vic you still on this president come on god man. damn bro <laughs> alright like, if you serious I'll campaign for you bro. yes I'll do your campaign yes, sir. art and slogans yes sir absolutely yeah I feel it I feel it but no it's, it's just stuff Vic like that 2030 is that what when it's gonna be right? Twenty twenty four. Every four years. Then twenty twenty eight. Yep. Nine. No. no. Thirty two. Yep. Oh, that's that's a stupid off year. Yep. That's a dumbass. Yeah, but he'll off year. he'll. I'm, I've never seen a a no twenty twelve twenty twelve was yeah was a campaign year, but it, yeah I get what you're saying though. No, but I, I I agree with you. Like I said, if if somebody to you is is a detriment then i'll put my life on the line because they're that important to you that's how i look at it regardless if i know that person or but not. but that's the thing i would never want to subject you to a situation where you got to put your life on the line but that's the thing too i would try so to do it if it were to happen i wouldn't let you go it was like vinland saga yeah. like the split second decision oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah like, but but yeah, look what happened look what happened though he had somebody to stop him right you know right so he was about to grab the axe and and hurt the hurt the guy that can literally fight, and he's like, "You never killed somebody before, so why would you try to jump right. up and do such That's a true. such a thing?" But I wouldn't let you, knowing you that you're my brother or or, or Caleb or or Vic or anybody that we know personally close, Skyler, and then knowing that we're gonna let them risk their lives. Six five teddy bear to my woman. Thank you very much. <laughs> he said, "How the fuck you know I'm a teddy bear? You uh, over here shit. smelling my hair when my back <laughs> is turned. Uh, I knew shit. you were suspect." Uh, oh, hey yo, dude. what the fuck? Um, nah, bro, dang, I'm not you catching whiffs, shit. Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> while he's not, while he's not looking, I'm like. Oh uh, man, you know, you know what that reminds me of that one episode of Baki, yeah, where the martial artist with the ponytail uh -huh. was sneaking into the oh yeah, the guards, he's like, and he's like matching. I got I got to move like him. <laughs> he can't feel my presence. That was fucking weird, bro. That was weird as fuck. Nah, Baki's a different different yeah. thing. That's the most. You can't uh, you can't say nothing. That's about the most is manly gay, show. Manly as fuck. Manly as show ever. It's so manly. Nothing they do can be like home homophobic yeah. or homosexual. You can't. Baki's just so fucking manly. Bro. Yeah. But when Jack, he, even when he, Jack and uh, uh, what was it? And pickles. Yeah. When they had the bite off. Oh yeah. Oh, bro. Because because Jack had the strongest jaw ever. Jack had the strongest jaw ever, and of mm -hmm. course pickles like a prehistoric freaking caveman beast, yeah. and now they're having like a bite off like whose jaw is powerful so they're like locking locking jaws, locking jaws. 
to everybody else here, you'll be like, what the fuck is going what on? What is going to, on? To the manly. I see two swole ass niggas. <laughs> trying to bite each other's jaw. It's <laughs> fucking nuts. That's crazy. Nah, that's nuts. That's crazy. Now, nah, is it? Like, Bruh, it's so manly peeing on yourself is manly. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Now, nah, Baki's just. No, I've never seen shit like that before, but, man. Well, then again, you also have. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I haven't Jojo. seen that one, so I can't talk on it. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, Wait, didn't one. you watch like the first couple of nah. seasons? No. No. Zero. You never did? Not once. Never seen any season. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. That's tough. It's one of them. But on another good note, we did find out that they did finish the script to season two of One Piece. Because, Live action? Yes, because they knew the Rise of Strike was happening. So it's just. They're they're predicting it'll be out twenty twenty five because they're waiting for the writer strike to be over. That sounds crazy. But they finished the script for it, so that's a good thing. So everything is already written down. The Alabasta saga is gonna. I know, but I thought Logtown was going to be in the. Logtown first season. will probably be brief. It's not gonna be an entire. Yeah, thing. but that's gonna take away from the second season, though. No, I feel it, but no, they're like it was just like uh, when he fought. Uh, what's his name? With the cannons. Uh, buggy? No, not Buggy. Smoker? No. Garp? When he was, um, um, what was it? When he went to meet Sanji and he fed that pirate that escaped from the war. Oh, uh, Don Creek? Don Creek, there you go. Right, because they cut that out. Yes, they cut uh, that Mihawk out. Mihawk essentially took him out on the beach right. and stuff, putting him on. Well, it makes sense, though, like. Mm-hmm. It would make But sense. that's what I'm saying with Logtown, that they're probably going to cut it like that. They're going to cut it short. I'm not saying brief scene, but they're probably going to make just only... Because I thought this season was going to be 10 episodes. No. I thought it was going to be 10 episodes, but I heard something hey. floating in the air that they, because of the budget... Yes, they ran out of money. Money was... Yeah. Because they had to build everything, like, from scratch. They so. spent the whole budget on that damn freaking Baradier. Yep. They ran out of money. They spent they they spent money on their ship because that's the what they're gonna be on the most. <clears throat> and then on top of that, every every episode was a uh, eighteen million, so they gave them a wow. strict budget. But as we were figuring out from Stranger Things, usually how series on Netflix go yes. if it's successful. Yes. So how they were doing on Stranger Things was first season was six million, second season was eight million, third season was eighteen million, and then the fourth season was thirty million per episode. So it's like be, they're because they were doing so well, they increased their budget. That's crazy. So that's probably what they're gonna do with that the One Piece live action. But um, right, because the better the budget, because now it's going to be easy, right? Because you only got to do like one Devil Fruit user, right? Yep. But like, what happens when you get to, of course, Logia users? Not just Logia users, but like, I wouldn't even say. No, just Alabas. He yeah. better still get struck by lightning. Also. He still, be, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nah, he he needs to. No, he needs know. to, and I want to see who's playing uh, Dragon. Have yeah. they already revealed the? Uh, who's playing Dragon? They, they showed they showed the character, but it's not official yet. Like the actor? Yeah, they showed the actor. But that's gonna play Dragon. Yeah, that's but it's not official yet. So, um, no, but that I mean that's that's what. They're pro- if we can get 10 episodes, they'll probably be able to get uh, maybe two episodes of Logetown. Can you really explain Logetown? T- Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, in two episodes. Absolutely. Get in, get out, go mm-hmm. to Reverse Mountain. Yep. And Laboon. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like, once you leave Logetown, the budget has to be stupid. Yep. But that's what I'm saying. So the budget has to be done. They're gonna up it. They're gonna. It's either gonna be twenty five or thirty million per episode for season two. Because, but from there on, everything is. But devil like fruits. we were saying, like uh, the 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 prediction is because it's gonna progressively get more difficult for them to deal with all the three D stuff. They're going to have to probably only do up to three to five seasons. That was you who told me they should do the idea instead of making Chopper CGI make him a puppet. Just like they did with uh, Grogu from with Grogu. Uh, from The Mandalorian. Oh, so the only that time... Would be great. So the only time... Um, that was Skyler's idea too. He's like, right. the only way you can save money on Chopper is make, make him, him a puppet. Make him a puppet. Yeah. 
because they. I did. would love that a thousand times better than yeah, if they did some he, weird it, creepy. It, it would look more realistic. Oh, yeah, CGI 3D. Some creepy CGI yeah. deer. Oh, that's. And then when he weird. does like his crazy moves, then then use the CGI. Then that's how you. Or just it. use a human in a deer outfit. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, you're talking about like the 3D um the, the 3D suits that they wear now? Like the how they make video games and movies now? Yeah, yeah. yeah like something like that. Oh, the motion tracker. Yeah. Um it? Caleb says if is a foot buggy smoker and Luffy all in one episode. Oh, if they put buggy smoker and Luffy all in one episode, it's gonna be expensive. Yeah. Boy, we over budget. We gotta end the season. The today. only thing I can think of especially with smoker is to use fog machines and then use and then cut his, uh, like like use three i love how we're all becoming freaking special effects yeah right right no degree no degree we're just trying to figure out how to save money so they can put more in other we up. need more like so the only thing so the only thing i'm thinking of is use like smoke machines and then use um a green screen to make his like legs disappear especially when he's like uh, flying and stuff like that, that. so he's that. actually walking but it's all green i screen. think if they could pull off buggy's ability mm -hmm. which was i think was pretty nice yeah for sure I like how it did that like it popped yeah, back so, yeah so you can tell right and it wasn't just like this floaty uh, stick back together type yeah, shit yeah, no, right I feel it. Okay, I feel, I feel that. that. Yeah, but th that's my only concern. Like, okay, script for season two is cool, but yeah, script is good. Is script is done because you have Oda. I hope they drop the whole Garp chasing Luffy thing because they shoehorn that in. Yeah, they shoehorn it and they waste a lot of time. Yeah. But I think like we were what like we were predicting, they were literally just showing you what Garp was doing while Luffy was on his journey. Because One Piece diehards already know what Luffy's doing. They just right. wanted to see how Garp decided to train Kobe and um, <laughs> get to where they got. But him meeting her, meeting Luffy so early, that I didn't agree with. Um, what was the name of the character that I kept talking about? How he uh, essentially appears in like the manga and stuff like that. Um, Garp's vice captain or whatever oh the guy that was always quiet with the hat mm -hmm. oh, i can check that out yeah uh, i forgot his name but pretty much there's like a whole lore behind him whereas like no one ever knew his name and he was only mentioned bogart there we go yeah bogart there you go bogart he was right, only his right hand man bogart. yeah he was only mentioned his name was only mentioned like one time and he never said anything throughout the and he never anime. said anything throughout the anime and any of the but now manga he, or but cover story he had a lot yeah he had a lot to say so i like that i like that they gave him more a lot more uh, attention yeah but if it were like i said the most they'd probably go is like they'll probably pull the stranger things maybe five seasons because the budget increasingly gets more expensive the further what longer. do you consider a season of one piece cuz yeah like an arc you can't just end it you see what i'm saying you can't be like okay five seasons it's over no well you know how, how do how do things fall off they just cancel them bullshit one piece fall off what no 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 no. i'm saying how do they cancel a season they just cancel it they're like see they're all they'll say is it will you not think be, it will netflix not as stupid as they are <laughs> you think netflix is gonna throw away one piece the greatest piece of fiction. I'm not saying that it's not the greatest piece of fiction. What I'm saying is, if it gets extremely too expensive, remember we watched. I feel that watched, right. Yeah, right, right, we watched right. a couple of videos saying there needs to be three factors: more subscribers. But what's the difference in that and Stranger Things? If they're willing to throw all that money at Stranger Things, give it because five, four seasons, two movies, and one of the season had two movies. Because it progressively got better. On top of that, it's an original story. Right, but they're still continuing. And that with the, re and with the, the recent season was insanely expensive. Exactly, and it's the last one. Season 5 is the last one because their budget is getting really too expensive. Why, why, let me see if I could Google if so they're literally, Netflix lost money on Stranger Things. So they're literally, so they're literally telling the brothers, you got to end it. You got to end it. The, the the Stranger Things because oh, everyone oh, thought okay, season okay. four was going to be the final season and then we yeah, thought so too. we realized like where are they spoiler warning guys if you haven't watched it it's been two years that <laughs> <laughs> the, 
<laughs> that the, the, the demigorgon that they thought was a demigorgon was just the general. The real one is coming out. Um, What's his name again? Dude, it's Vecna. Vecna. Yeah, they thought Vecna was Vecna. They thought Vecna was the 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 boss, the 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 end all be all. But he ended up being just the general. So he was literally the figurehead to the actual bad guy that's coming out. Isn't the bad guy that freaking spider looking thing that we've yes, seen? Yes, we. Okay, we've so met. like, have haven't we already interacted with this being? No, the, it used people to come out as so that me. giant swirly storm cloud bro kept seeing in his dreams that that well remember when they it it, it it like possessed a whole bunch of people and turned them into just a giant meat thing it was just going across the mall word it's just meat it wasn't it it was like a a, a projection like a doll yes, that, an astral projection a, exactly basically like he's, he's like i'm not mind really, melding yes i'm not really there i'm gonna send my consciousness into a whole bunch of people that i'm controlling he's mind melding into inanimate objects I yeah, feel it yeah so that's what I would say with One Piece and, and I get it it's it's a masterpiece and I'm not saying it, it, anything like that but remember what Netflix depends upon is uh, subscription base that's how they make their money they bring up the prices yes but their subscription base is what, what brings it so it's uh, subscription base hours watched and the amount of people that watch it those are the three factors. If one of if one of the three don't align, they're gonna cancel it. It's not. But like, that's how they do it. That's it just it. ha it just makes sense. I get it. Okay. One piece is one of the most popular pieces of fiction. Yes. They have one of the largest fan bases. Mm-hmm. They have a series on Netflix. Mm-hmm. That's gonna translate into subscribers. That's going to translate into views. That's going to translate into money. Higher budget. If you have an endless supply of people who are willing to subscribe, or fans who are willing to subscribe to a service because they support a product, you can assume you're going to make enough money to continue the series. But like I said, for them, it's not about the money. Remember, not in in all those three things. I did not mention money. And and what scenario is a corporation's interest? Their main goal is not to make more money. Their main goal, like I said, their main goal. Of course, their main goal is always to make more money. But the way they can continue, because I asked, I I went on Google and I said, how does Netflix make their money? Mm-hmm. And the number one thing that popped up was subscriptions. If their subscriptions are up, remember when they threaten people with the passwords? Right. And then their well, subscri- yeah, they already did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And their subscriptions went up. They didn't and, lose and, people. And that, but that's what I'm saying. But that doesn't mean those are the people that are. No, gonna- no, no, no. But you got to understand. You're looking at it as Netflix as is. One Piece just dropped. You don't even have that entire fan base on the platform. They're just still kind of waiting for the. The reviews and that trickle down effect to kind of come out and, and blah blah blah, you see what I'm saying? But like once this thing is in full swing, there's no way, there's no way uh, uh, Netflix will tr- try to bow out of that. There's no way. It's like the whole BTS effect. If you get what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm gonna read it here because you're not you're not understanding what I'm saying. You All think right. you think it is the money. But most of their profits, 10%, 10% come from advertising. Mm-hmm. 30, uh, 90% of all revenues, which is $32 billion in 2022, comes from subscriptions and partnerships. So like I said, it doesn't matter how many people watch it. Wait, but Jeff, it's like I'm telling you the thing, but you're not seeing the, the transition in to interest into subscribers if you can't say it doesn't matter how many people are watching if they're not subscribed but look what happened i'm gonna give you an an example how many people cancel their subscriptions after they watch what they needed to watch it doesn't matter still translates into a subscription but that's not what they're counting they're counting subscription plus the continuation of it not a show came out we subscribe that brings up their numbers for about a month or two, mm-hmm. and then it and then it divots down a hundred, two hundred thousand. Well, you're never gonna see that with really any service, any streaming service. Yeah, that's just what it is. That's just the landscape now. It's either you 
get the subscription and then you forget about it and then periodically you watch whatever you want to watch or you get the subscription to watch what you want to watch and then you know let it go that's how come but that's just that that's not anything new that other companies aren't facing yeah you see what i'm saying like i'm just looking at it from the perspective of if you have a product that people are very interested in, mm-hmm. that's just going to translate to subscriptions. Unless you're telling me millions and billions of people are going to bootleg One Piece. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're going to have that whatever, that mm-hmm. subsection of people, you know, bootlegging, yeah. but... That's really the only way you're going to be able to watch it mm-hmm. is subscribing. Whether it's a temporary like Netflix can can adjust their marketing or their 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 profit plan to only focus on all right, our subscriptions are going to increase because we have a new season of XYZ dropping. Mm-hmm. And they can calculate that into their annual, you know, whatever, their annual report. It's not like they're looking, "Oh yeah, we're going to get these subscribers and we hope we keep them. No, because they know a lot of people are only going to come subscribe when they have a, a new series or a returning series or a season. Two yeah, for or, sure. Or I agree with that. You see what I'm saying? So it's just stuff like that. Mm. It's just stuff like that. I just think One Piece is too big of a product. I want to, one. Yes, I agree. Too I, fair. I want One Piece to go um, beyond what. I think the thing that's going to kill One Piece is the direction of the director and how long is he going to want to do it is he going to want to do it and because i do know oda kind of co-produces this as well too yes you see what i'm saying like is there ever going to be a season where Oda's going to be able to be there all the time no you see what I'm saying? exactly you know what I'm saying? as so. as the director said he's a diehard but that doesn't mean he right he do, he'll t- he can take creative liberties you know so well he hasn't uh he hasn't changed it and he hasn't made it woke so i'm gonna keep <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna keep walking. well here's the thing one piece is woke in its roots yeah like it just oh yeah when you have bon claire right. and then you have um right ivanka you, you have yeah. yeah they had an entire who, entire who saga the, like impaled down was an entire saga about introducing oh, wait, um, wait wait when they were on whiskey peak that big nigga ass. Oh, he, uh, woman. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Like they were already there. Were... <laughs> Zoro was on his his bullshit, bro. Fucking group. Zoro was on him his by the agenda. and says, "Oh, you're strong, aren't you?" And then he was just choking. Ah! Him. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, man. I, I I get it though. Yeah, so I get it. I, I I yeah. So like I said, I don't have an issue with for with it so far. It cannot be woke because they were ahead of. It's their, re- yeah. Oda was ahead of his ahead time. Ahead of his time before anything else. Like I said, an entire saga of uh, Impaled Down was dedicated to talking about um, transgender women in that aspect, and it was like in in that show they can actually become women. Oh, John. Um, Vic said he's on his way to watch The Nun. Is there a new movie of The Nun? The Nun 2, yes. Wait, they're barely on The Nun 2? Yes. Why have I seen this nun in like 85 horror movies? Because it's part of the Insidious universe. Insidious? No. Not Insidious. Um, What's the other one called? But Insidious is part of that universe as well too, right? The Conjuring the universe. Conjuring you. But Insidious is part of that universe. No, it's a different universe. Really? Yeah. They didn't want to clash with the actors. No. Right, because it's the same dude. It's the same Same guy. Dude. Yeah, it's in the Conjuring universe. I like this. I, I, I like this whole new horror verse. Guess who started? James Wan. James Wan, yeah. I like this new horror verse yeah. that they got going on. Yeah, man. That, that's kind of that's kind of one thing I wanted to bring up, too, because I know that the holidays are already in, and it's nuts because I went to Sam's with Mom on Sunday to, to buy some things. Uh, oh, they got all that. Yeah, so I was Christmas like... Christmas shit. I'm like, bro... It's not even September 23rd, which is going to be a Saturday when the first official day of fall started. You already got your peppermint ice creams. You already got your Christmas creamers. You already have um, all this fall stuff, and it's not even fall yet. And then I went into Sam's, and then there's already all this Christmas stuff. 
that's nuts to me. It's like every year they force it out more and more and more. Before it was, let's wait. Then Black Friday was December. Then they moved it to November. Then it's like you get your Christmas bonuses in December. Now it's November. It's like they're pushing everything. Everything has just become commercialized. It's just nuts to me. Oh, yeah. yeah well, it's been like that since, you know, they just rediscover a way to repurpose and repackage it. So is, to you. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. materialism. That's yeah, just all it is. Which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a sign that, one, you're getting older and time's starting to fly even faster for you, bro. Yep. Yeah, I can see that. That's crazy. And your birthday's coming up, so... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're going to let the world know. Jeff barreled, tackled his way out of I don't believe world. in birthdays. It's, uh, Ta- tackled his way out. I've ascended. Into the so world. What the fuck? That no longer means anything to me. What the fuck? Jeff bulldozed his way out. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's my fault. Absolutely. What Everyone's like, it's my fault, moms. <laughs> you, you was the biggest nigga ever moms. born in the family. 10 pounds. Damn, boy, that's crazy. I barrel chested my way this out. This man came out a dumbbell. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Had my mom doing curls, uh, bro, in the shit. hospital bed, lift his yeah. ass up. They're like, damn. Her hair was like everywhere. Oh, what the out. fuck? What the fuck? Yep. Nah, no, that's it. crazy. That's crazy. Nah, I feel it, man. I feel it. Mm-mm-mm. Barrel chested out of that bitch. That's crazy. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do for your birthday? Nothing. Be old? Nothing. You gonna be old? Nothing. I didn't even request a day off. Seriously? I was just took the day off. No, for the they, they gave it to me. I didn't even request it. Oh, okay. So you do have the day off. Yeah. And that's gonna be a what? A Sunday. F- Sunday? Yeah. I'll take that day off. That's in what? Next week? Yeah. Yeah. Next Sunday. Or this Sunday. Yeah. Next Sunday. Yeah. I'll take that day next off. Sunday. I'll see what's up. Probably ain't gonna do nothing. Really? You don't want to mow the lawn? Pay bills. And we stuff. cut the grass. We got still got the electric mower. We should uh right use that once. Crank that bad boy. Absolutely. <laughs> make make your lawn service easier. Yeah. Make it easier for those guys. Yeah. What the fuck? Or use the weed, the weed trimmer. Edge up your lawn or something like that. That sounds so exciting. You really hate gardening. God damn. That's tough. That's, that's such a fun thing to do, man. Oh, man. It's just such a fun thing to do. Mm. Remember, I gave myself a reason. Don't have it anymore. So why do I want well, to? Well, find another reason to garden. What uh, the fuck? I just don't garden. Just garden. Learn to like it. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> While you sleep, I put a fucking shot collar on. Right. Go dig the moles. Plant the seeds. Yes, master. Till the soil. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, that would be crazy. Uh, the yeah. universe would implode on you itself. You've got to go <laughs> dig those holes. <laughs> the universe would implode uh, on shit. itself. What the fuck? No, nah, I bet. I bet. He's like, don't feel bad. What does it say? Vic says, don't feel bad. Jeff, my B day's coming up too. Mm. Bro, you nineteen. Shut the fuck up. Really? <laughs> yeah. That, He's nineteen. That man's a kid. I There's think. no way. I think. But remember, he's old. He's old mentally. So. He's an old soul. Yeah. Bad knees. He's been reincarnated. What's with, what with your generation and bad knees? That's, That's just what it is, out, bro. Man. It's we're 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 supporting the crushing weight of That's generational nuts. debt. That's nuts. I got an 18-year-old stock clerk, a 24-year-old t- team leader. You're telling me Vic got bad. Everybody got bad knees. I'm like, I'm 32. I ain't got bad knees. What's going on? Jeff. Don't be talking about all you're the... You're built like a tank. That's different. <laughs> Your body was just made to fucking work. Oh, shit. You were bred to work. I'm uh, sorry. It's in your genes. Massive made. Massive bred. It's in your genes. Work. I never seen a big nigga run that fast, boy. I'm turning 22. Thank you very. Oh damn. Oh wow. Bro, I feel like you 19 every day. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. How long you know Vic? Bro, since he was 19. Since he was 19. That's probably what it was. Yeah, bro. It's just that moment frozen in time. Yep. And he looks. You're the same. forever, bro. Vic will be 55. Oh yeah, you're 19. Yep. What the fuck? Yep. For youngin. For forever, forever 19, bro. He's a youngin. Yeah. No, but I feel it. All right, man. 
I feel like we reached the end of this. Yeah, this was fun. I mean, we did. It was something different. I think the 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 bass is bugging him up. Yeah, bugging yeah. Bruce. We we need let's let's end this before he starts barking like a mad right. <laughs> Probably like somebody in front of our door. Oh yeah! Before we go, um, yeah, that was weird. That was weird. That was weird as fuck. His face. It's like he knew the camera. He was knew out. the camera was on him. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, we had this guy come up to our door. Well, here's the weird thing, because Jeff saw him earlier in the day, so I headed out for work, and Jeff sees the guy. When I was coming back from the gym, I saw the truck right in front of our neighbor's house. Weird. And then it made the, he made a back turn into our driveway and stayed there because he thought I was going to pass by, and I'm like, no, I live there. You need to get out the driveway. Get out my driveway. So he got out my driveway, kept driving down, and then went in. Both our cars were gone. The alarm, the um, sensor inside went off because Bruce did some motion. Bruce and, was tweaked. Yeah, because I got a cam inside and I got a cam out in the front door. It tweaked. I checked it. Dude in the same truck, but he's across the street. He came back later in the day. He later in the day. That's crazy. And then he not. You don't see any cars. You know there's nobody home. Right. So it's like. Why from, the fuck you knocking? Exactly. So so my thing was they're probably checking he, to see if there's anybody anybody in. at home. Then Bruce comes barrel rolling, bare chest. Throws himself at the window. Rawr, 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 rawr. Just throws him. He yeah. doesn't even like jump on. No, he fucking crashes yeah. through that shit. So he's like, fuck no, I'm walking away. And that was the end of that. I'm like, yeah, but the entire time he purposefully kept his head down, down. so the cameras wouldn't look. And yeah. he was wearing like a baseball So maybe I should cap. put one in front of the door. That's true. On top of the door, on top of the front door, so catch him. I was going to say something crazy, but that's illegal because that's called booby trapping, and booby trapping is illegal. Mm. Well, well, if we put it on the door, we're recording. Nope, that's... that's, that's <laughs> we're notifying them that we're booby trapping them. Nope, still illegal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just make sure. Just make sure. It's illegal. It's illegal, illegal. He said, since I was 18, thank you very much. Well, you know, Vic, in my mind, you'll be 19 forever, so... <laughs> Just like Julie, in my mind, Julie's. Yeah, Ju- Julie, that that was crazy. Yeah, but um, crazy. yeah, I, I mean, I think that's it, man. Um, I think that's it. All right, man. Yep. Take Guys, us home. take us home. Thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Mm-hmm. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you on Thursday. One more thing, Vic. It's already illegal because we recorded ourselves doing it, so we're getting clipped. Yep, (laughs) especially if you clip it, so we're fucked either way. Oh, man. See you, see you. Yep, see you, guys.